Hello， 大家好，诶，我系 Sir Margaret， thank you for joining me here on my little Cantonese corner。今日二零一九年五月十六号星期日 ，so today it's Sunday the twenty sixth of May here in Hong Kong， and as promised， I've got more Chinese surnames for you on the board。If yours is not here， I apologize， but these are、I've、actually I put five on the board， but I've added two more。So we're gonna take a look and and learn a little bit about the name and、uh, other words that kind of、uh, relate to the character. Okay, so the first one, which is actually number six, is C H A U or C H O W, pronounced in Cantonese as zhao, the high tone, high falling, zhao, J A U with the zhao.、Uh, that's how you write it. And there's other meanings for this zhao. So, using the same character, so one of them is dynasty. The、um, Zhao Qiu is the Chao Dynasty, okay, in ancient Chinese history, right? The Zhao Qiu is the Chao Dynasty. An anniversary, they use the Zhao Zhao Lin to mean like anniversary. So, for example, you'd say Gong、um, Lin Dai So Zhao Lin, or whatever, or yeah, the tenth anniversary. This year is the tenth anniversary. Uh, so Zhao is used for Zhao Lin, the anniversary. Okay.、Um, also, too, like Zhao Wei, Zhao Wei Dou Hai, messy or something. Zhao、uh, Wei is like the whole area. Now, number two, which is actually number seven, is the surname L A U Lao, and this is pretty similar in Cantonese. You'd pronounce it as the low falling Lao, right?、Um, Lao. That's the character. And there is a lot of different、uh, meanings to the word "lao," but they're not using the same character. Okay, so one of them, if you、um, lao, I think it's kind of interesting actually because "lao," a different character which I'll subtitle below, means to flow. So like "lao chulei" or "lao hu." A lot of times, like yeah, "lao hu,"、um, blood. I'm bleeding, right? So bleeding is "lao" coming coming out, flowing. "Hu" is Blood. I'll subtitle it below. So lao hu is to bleed. So that's one way, a different character than this one, but、um, the same sound.、Uh, but there's another one which doesn't mean to flow or go out. It means to stay, which is like the opposite, and that also is pronounced as lao, a different character. But if you said, for example, like um, lei hui lao, you go right, like lei hui lao, and all lao hai dao, all lao hai dao. So I'll stay here, right? Okay, and then another one is、uh, lao tai. Lao tai are the stairs, right? So if you、um, maybe want to keep fit, you're like, and I'll hang lao tai, and I'll take the stairs, right? And I'll hang hang is to walk, right? So mo and I'll hang lao tai. Lao tai is stairs, and it's a different, again, a different character from this one and the other ones, but the same pronunciation of the lao. So now the next one. Which would be number eight is M A Ma, right? Ma. In Cantonese, this is pronounced Ma, the low rising Ma, and it means horse. So literally, this character and the last name is horse. Okay. In Hong Kong, Happy Valley is known as Pao Ma Dai, which literally means running horse place, and the track is called Ma Cha. And there you can see the track, and as it scrolls down, that's the area of Hong Kong known as Happy Valley or Pao Ma Dai. Number four, which would be number nine on the list, is Mac. In English, it's pronounced with the a、eh, Mac. Right in Cantonese, it's pronounced the low tone Ma. Ma. There's that slight K sound at the end. Can you hear it? Like Ma. It's not really that k. Like in English, you pronounce it the Mac. With that hard K sound, but this is more like a ma, and you just have a hint of the K at the end. Okay, so ma. Actually, this character ma, for the surname, also means wheat, and oatmeal, for example, is ma pe, or ma pin is oatmeal. Okay, so ma ma bao is your wheat bread. So if you're ordering,、um, you know, it's usually ba bao is white bread, ba bao or ma bao. Is the wheat bread okay? So if you're ordering a sandwich or toast or something, then you would use the ma for the、uh, wheat variety of bread. Okay.、Um, number five, which is the tenth most common surname, is Guan. 
In English, this is quan. Again, that K being the k, quan, right? Quan. Um, I could think immediately of Michelle Quan, the figure skater, American uh, Chinese figure skater. Um, Kevin Quan, who wrote the novels um, Crazy Rich Asians and the other in the series. This Quan also has different meanings instead of just being a surname. And one of those is, well, clothes. So you didn't, wouldn't say this like Guan Mun. You, guan is like the written form, right, so of clothes. In Cantonese, you'd say san mun, right? Um, Gai san mun, please close the door. But, you know, if you just wanted to mix up the written and the, the spoken forms, you could say guan mun, right? Relationship. Guan hai. Your guan hai. This just literally means relationship. There's no, in, there's no in indication whether or not it's a love relationship or a friend relationship. It literally is just relationship. Right, they they learn guan mei guan hai, right? Um, what's the relationship between you two, right? Or um, yeah, guan hai relationship, okay? Um, customs. If you're crossing a border and you guo guan, eh, guo guan is to go through customs, right? So guan is also your customs, um, and then be concerned about also uses this character guan for guan some both the high tone guan sum. So if you are concerned about somebody, a mo I guan sum light, right? I really care about you. I'm really concerned about you. Okay? That's one way to use the guan character. So there's a lot of different meanings behind just that one character. Now I thought I'd add two more because this one in particular gives people a bit of a hard time, especially in English, if they see NG, like how am I supposed to pronounce that? Well, in Cantonese, it's the low rising, mm -hmm, that unvoiced kind of nasally, mm -hmm, okay? So, mm -hmm, is the surname NG, and it has a campin, it has the, the character for actually person in front of it, and then it has the character for five. So in my dictionary, I read, Back in the old dynasty days, um, this character was used to denote five soldiers, like in a regiment. And that's where this kind of comes from, I guess, as a Chinese surname. The number five does not have that okay, being in front of it. I put this wu in brackets because in Mandarin, uh, they do not use the mm pronunciation. They use the w, the wu. I put it up here because if you see somebody with the last name Wu, then it is the same as the NG, but typically they're from Taiwan or from a Mandarin-speaking place. One that comes to mind is Crazy Rich Asians, Constance Wu, uh, who was born in the States anyway, but uh, she came to mind as someone that has the surname that in Cantonese would be pronounced as M. Mm. Okay, so that's that one. Another one that I thought was worthy of mention was Lamb. And lamb in Cantonese is pronounced as the low falling lum. Okay, lum. Kind of like the, which one? The mac and the ma. Okay, um, it's not the a eh sound like lamb. It would be more like a lum, almost like an l u, almost in English, right? Lum. So, lum. This lum means forest, kind of. Um, one of those is tree, right? So, we have two of them, it's kind of forest. And if you'll notice, Usually in Cantonese, as you know, they pair the characters, right? So it's kind of unusual to see a lone character out there by itself. They like to go in pairs. And so forest is some lum, <laughs> some lum. And you'll know, and I love this because you'll notice this one's got two trees and this one has three trees and you put them all together and you have forest. Okay, so that's a little bit of trivia there on the, the characters. So I think that's it. Uh, I hope this was interesting and informative and you learned something and uh, I think that'll probably do it for the Chinese surnames. If yours isn't out there or if there's one that you know and you want to know how to say it, please leave a comment below and I can for sure find out um, and let you know like the, the um, phonetics for how to pronounce it. Alright, so thank you guys so much for joining me here on my little Cantonese corner. If you like what you see, please do subscribe um, and turn on the notification bell and like the video if you do. Uh, follow me on Instagram at Cantonese Corner and Facebook as well. Alrighty, have a great day, you guys. Bye.